Hey everyone, let's build modern art by Lego. This is set number 31210. Contains 805 bricks, retails for $49.99, and this set was provided by the Lego group for early review. And yes, this is the joke I was mentioning about. That's what we'll be building today. Yeah, I mean, 805 pieces, huh? At least the price is pretty good. It's really cheap, because it's very basic stuff. You know, it's very basic stuff that I could use. And we get a brick separate. I hope we do with this. And let's see here. Take a look at the manual here. Legoland is a place I've never been to before. I'm hoping this is a collaborative build. Welcome to Lego Art. <laughs> That's what they're calling it, huh? And create and display your way. Well, my version of art is making campgrounds and custom homes. I was just think she's probably the creator. And then there's how to use the brick separator. And basically that's how the build's broken down. So there is seven bags. Okay, so we got to build the frame. And you just build all these pieces. So it looks like maybe this could be built as a collaborative build. Okay. So you just make a bunch of these and stuff like that. And it jumps right on into bag one. So I think bag one is going to be the most difficult one. Why? Because it's mostly white pieces. And we're going to start right on in. So this kind of reminds me of that Disney set. The one with the little many art pieces and stuff like that now when i heard about this set i thought oh cool we're gonna get a mosaic and i thought it'd be kind of something fun to do right well no <laughs> this is what it is and i'm still fighting that head cold matter of fact i think i just had an old-fashioned summer cold more than anything so i'm just getting over it now and Kind of achy and stuff still so i'm just taking it easy had to do some work this morning which wasn't too fun and today is the 5th of july 2023 so essentially that's what it is and yeah you can see that these are very basic parts here So, I have another seven sets coming in the mail for review, and I'm going to have to start declining offers at this point because I want to build my own stuff. i got too many ideas I want to share, and my time is all consumed doing reviews. So I have to start slowing down on accepting these things. And Lego didn't force me to do these. It's just when they send me an offer, I know very little about it until I get it here. And I'm rolling my eyes thinking, oh, I'm going to have to put this thing together like this, you know. And we'll give it a whirl and see how well it goes. And so far, the build's okay. It's just white pieces, and I'm kind of kind of like, I don't know. I've already seen... Uh, a bunch of uh, posts about department stores already releasing these sets already. And I'm following by the rules. I don't leak out anything early. So if somebody else leaks it, then it's all fair game, right? I'm just not leaking out my copy. When I saw what this looked like, I thought, oh, goodness. I should just start giving failing grades for those, huh? And we'll see how well this goes today. So I'm starting to take apart the campground, I know, frowny face. But then again, I have the rough building guide to rebuild it later on. Along with the first scene that I built many years ago. So that, that's that, you know, that's the beauty I like about doing those type of builds, is I can do this. Why don't you just ask me to build two of these? I'm hoping this is going to be a fast one today. 
because I still got to do, I got to edit some more of the dream sets. I'm still on, by the time you're watching this, I have, I've only still done one of the videos on the uh, tree house. There's like five of those in total. I've only done one. And in addition, well, this, oh, that's probably why it doesn't connect there. And in addition to the tree house, I ha I'm working on the Grim Keeper, the Grim Keeper, the Cage Monster, and I'm doing the uh, uh, Miss Castillo's Turtle Van. So I'm kind of slowly plugging away at those. And it's been kind of, kind of taking some time. All this color in here, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be darn. Uh -huh. I haven't had anybody complain about the profanities yet, but I think the most I'm ever going to use is the S word. Oh, wait a minute. These are backwards here. And stuff like that. And get that going here and change all this around. And... Oh, yes. I've heard on... TV that there's been a dispute going on about television services being cut off, I guess due to some contract dispute, and I'm like, really? And there's company here right now, but it's not for me. And my family, though, wants me to get cable or satellite and I said yeah if you pay the bill I'm not paying for it you know I like my over-the-air TV and now that takes care of bag one so bag one does the frame here well, not too bad so we're gonna go ahead and continue on with bag two and I think it's just more white stuff here so bags one and two to essentially do the frame so far it's not really collaborative yet I'm hoping it is and yeah, they, you know, my bunch wants me to get TV services here. And I'm like, why? What's the point? <laughs> you know, if they're going to cut off your favorite TV channel because of a dispute, why would you want to pay for that? You know, and of course, I'm starting to get them hooked to streaming services. I'm like, look, guess what you can do here? You can watch it whenever you want. You can just press a button and there it comes up on the screen. Well, I don't want to use my tablet or I don't want to use... The computer for this I said I said I'll, I'll well we can go get a smart TV for all that well I don't want to do that I'd really just watch old-fashioned TV and I pointed at my uh, my old Philco and I said there you go have fun oh I want a color TV well, you told me you want to watch old-fashioned TV you know well, I I said I can go get the old Zenith portal in here and you can watch a round screen TV where it's just round it's one-to-one -one aspect you know, I mean, be careful how you word things. <laughs> you know, I'm like, I don't have a modern television for that purpose. I mean, I do watch a lot of streaming services when I'm doing videos or working or something or just laying in bed because I watch them on the tablet. But I'm like, you know. Oh, yeah, you'll be here on the lawnmowers today. Yeah, I'm not into all the TV stuff. When I was a kid, TV was cool, but now it's kind of, it's just kind of boring. I mean, who watches it anymore? Some of the younger kids I know like the TV because it's magical, but when I was a kid, it was cool. You had all those extra channels. It was hours of entertainment. And then parents just plopped the kids in front of the TV and say, here, TV, babysit them while I go do something. Now it's the i. Now you got you got iPad nanny now that does it. Instead of the television nanny, now you got the iPad nanny. <laughs> yeah. So this set so far, it's the frames. Kind of interesting in terms of this could be used to 
this is pretty rigid so you could use this to build something on here like maybe I could build a house or something on top of that so it's not going to be something that's kind of kind of questionable there but uh, it's pretty strong it's pretty rigid yeah so the first few bags ooh, they just seem kind of boring right now So what I'm taking it is, because I gotta find two flat tiles, is let's start placing these in now because there's too many of these other ones here. That you're supposed to place the art on this frame any way you choose, which is kind of kind of boring in a way. You know. Especially the colors they've chose, but I'm sure you can come up with your own creations on this. And I'm not going to be blunt, or I'm not, I'm not going to censor, but I'm going to be blunt on things. You know, if I think a set seems boring, that's what I'm going to say. When I saw this on the box, I kind of snubbed my nose to it at first. I'm thinking, oh, I have to build it though. I have to put it together. So I, I can't just toss it in the back of the closet and forget about it for six years. <laughs> Uh, that's the bad thing about being in the ambassador thing and I get a review offer I have to do them at a timely manner this is one of those sets that's due in a few days but I would have worked on it the other day but it was 4th of July and I kind of didn't want to do anything that day so I didn't film anything and that's what I didn't I didn't do is I didn't film Yeah, just for the first two bags so far, I'm not pleased. So this is going to be one of those sets that I'm going to try to get done all in one sitting today. Okay. What, what I mean by one sitting is I'm going to just sit down. We're going to build it all at once right now. Okay. And get it done to the point... When I get it all finished up, I could do the review. The review on this is going to be easy. There's, there's nothing, there's no tour, there's no close-up shots. It's just, I set it on a, I'll set it on a turntable and just do a 360 spin and I'm done. This is not going to be a complicated one. And see how they have the outlines around that? That makes it so much easier. I wish LEGO would do that with all their building guides. Yeah, so whoever gets this set, so far it's not a collaborative bill, but let's say it is. Give the person you don't like, give them the frame to build, because it's obviously the least exciting one. Well, for me anyways, it's just, it's one color. And essentially, this is what we're doing. Now, build quality so far seems pretty good. I haven't had anything fall off yet yet <laughs> and but as far as for build retention you know what build experience build retention there we go that's the word I've been looking for all this time build retention you know my experience is pretty good it was a pleasant build build retention well I was losing interest with the build which is the same thing as experience for me so like right now I'm kind of I'm missing one piece here. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, it's all white on a white counter. That is not good at all. Okay, now we got to place 12 of these little tiles here. Yeah, I hate being sick through the summer. Been drinking lots of fluids, taking it easy, all that stuff. And we need eight more of these. Cool. We got to put them around here now. I'd rush and try to get it all done, but I found out a lot of you guys and gals um, 
depend on these videos for me to show you where things go. I did have a question on one of my other videos. Jay, I rebuilt something six times watching your videos and I get confused. Guys and gals, these are not meant to be tutorials. Even I get lost on the builds. Sometimes I may put parts in wrong. And when it happens like that, just go with the flow. Okay, just go with it. You know, even I don't get these right the first time around. See, after I build them and I do the initial walkthrough, I'll notice there's mistakes here and there. All right, I'm on a deadline to get these done. So I may make a mistake, so just don't hold my build thing for it. It's just a good reference point, you know. You know, I don't, this is not a pleasure build. This is not something I want to do by any means. You know, I mean, I didn't wake up today and go, oh, I can't wait to build more Lego sets. I know some people do, but like for me, I really want to get into the tutorial stuff real quick. I got a bunch of stuff I'd like to do for the remainder of the third quarter and stuff like that. And, you know, that kind of thing. But the next seven sets I get after this one, after this batch here, it's, it's a set theme that I don't really want to put together. Okay. So I have to do them. They have to be done. But I'm looking at the sets for parts. So I'm getting this stuff because I've noticed a lot of you guys prefer the part unboxings. So we're going to be focusing more on parts than anything else. And, well, we're getting close here. Let's go ahead and let's jump to the last step here. There's only four of these and they go here. Well, they really smoothed off almost every stud in this, on this subplate here. Jay, if you sound like you're unhappy, why do you do these? You know, it's a, uh, you know, I don't know what I'm getting, so it's kind of like a surprise. And two, um, just for parts. You know, some of these sets have some good parts for you guys and gals, and it's worth doing the videos for people who take it, you know, who appreciate the part unboxings. And that's bag two, and that's what we have remaining. So bags. One and two essentially do the frame, and it's pretty rigid. All right, moving on to bag three. We haven't got to these two plates. I've got to mention these. You do get two 8 by 16 plates. We haven't done those yet. So bag three is colorful stuff. Okay, so bag one and two, are, so far this build is not a solo build, and we're going to be needing these right here off the bat. So there you go. And just note what we'll be building here. So now, this is where I think the collaboration is gonna start happening. So the first thing we're gonna do is start building four of these. What I'm gonna do is set these up like this. Slide that off to the side there. And we're gonna start fabricating parts. Now I'm just gonna do the first page now here and when I see a piece that we need, I'll start just dropping them down. Okay. Now, you can, don't have to do this. You can build one section at a time. You can build one piece at a time. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just building four of each here. Okay. So you don't have to do this method at all. Once you build one, you can just copy the picture. <laughs> And I'm going to set some of these other oddball parts right over here just because we don't need those probably until later on in the build. And I'm still hunting for parts. And just that was all the bricks that we were messing with. The rest of it now is all this custom stuff. So have fun putting all that together. And I'm going to slowly start dividing things up here until I find a few pieces that I need. So, yes, this set right now, I'm going to be honest, 
even though, th remember I always mention about colors make the set. Okay, this set has got some color in it, but I'm going to be honest. Um, this reminds me like an old school Minecraft set, and those would get boring after a while. So I hate to think that this is what we're doing here um, in terms of just building small stuff, and then we put the big thing together later on. The... Yeah. Okay, we got these. I got this section here done. Still haven't got the haircut yet, but I'm setting my hard date on the 12th. I even messaged my guy. I'm like, I'll be there. I got the appointment confirmed. Of course, he gives me a thumbs up. I said, I'm going to be down there quickly when that happens. I said, because I need to get this crap cut off. A <laughs> friend wants me to grow it out, and I'm like, no, I'm not growing it out. It's too hot to have long hair, especially in the desert. So what I'm taking at this set is, though, you just build a bunch of modular pieces, and you can put them on this any way you want. Now, you notice I'm sorting right now as I'm doing this. The reason being is, let's save that. Let's seem to put the bigger stuff here at the top. Um, still missing a couple of these bows. And then that takes care of. Now we got one more step, and that's this thing right here. And then. So basically, you're just making shapes and you're going to stick them on things. And that's what we're doing next. So we haven't even done anything with these yet. We'll set those over there. I need this. And you're going to have to plate this whole thing off here. Isn't that fun? Yeah, so if you want to, you feel free to fast forward for this if you don't want to sit here and watch me do the whole thing. Like I said, I'm kind of in a hurry to get things done today. I just want to get the stinking reviews and so I can start doing my own stuff. It's been one review after another. I haven't had a chance to take a breather. So I'm going to try to breeze through these sets. Hopefully not bring out any September sets yet. And then once I, once I find out, I'll start doing... I'm going to start filming some tutorials anyways. But I don't want to be just getting up. I do Lego and go to bed. It feels This is starting to feel like a job. Well, this part's a job, which I'm kind of getting underpaid for. That's why you notice the quality of my reviews is, is lacking compared to the tutorials. Because the tutorials I prefer just for fun. Boy, that's a lot of plates to put on there. So I think we're supposed to snap some of this stuff on there next, huh? Oh no, we're not doing anything like that yet. We have to make the same one but in blue. Well, at least we have that to look at now, huh? Now, at least this set came with a brick separator. Uh, and I had that put somewhere else, I think. Yeah, oh, it's right here. And that's one thing I want to see is brick separators. I'm dinging hardcore on that now. Well, those pieces there are slightly different blues. Huh. And of course, you're not going to see it, but to a kid, it doesn't really matter. Or maybe to some adults, too. So I'm hoping the... Uh, Review on this is going to be easy. But as you can tell, though, you know, this is 800 pieces. This is something I would normally break down into two installments. But as you can see, though, I'm not really troubleshooting anything like that. I just copy the picture and we're just basically plating things off. Jay, you're working fast. Well, yeah, because these are pretty easy. Basic bricks I can mess with. 
And that's it, you build two of these. One pink, one blue. And let's take a look here. And we gotta build two of these here and four of these. So it says now, what do we do? We stick all these bricks with bow on here. So in addition is to being modern art, it's three dimensional art too. I remember when I was taking art appreciation, we had to learn all this stuff like, you know, what was the artist doing? What were they feeling? What was their, what do you think their emotions were when they were building this? Honestly, this is probably a build that one of the Lego designers had put together. She or he was a kid and they decided just to kind of elaborate on something like this. That's what I, that's what I'm assuming. And when I was a kid, I used to make stuff like this all the time too. We didn't have all these fancy parts, but you could do it with bricks and plates, which this is essentially what we're doing here. And this is a good inspiration for someone to get into what we call abstract. This is an abstract piece of art. It's abstract. So you can pretty much take an item and abstract it to its essence, and then there you go. Hey, I remembered something from Art Appreciation. It's an abstract piece, is what it is. Abstract art. And... So you're going to be building a lot of duplicates. So now I'm feeling kind of redundant on this set. Because I haven't really done anything yet. So I think you're going to have to build... the whole thing first. Matter of fact, since I've been battling this head cold, I've just been dying of thirst. My throat's always dry. So I've been drinking lots of fluids. So if I sound whiny, that's why. And that's it. And that's what it shows right there. And so far we have all that. And it says balance right here. And it gives you a couple of designs. So, it gives you some examples there. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead. What happens to the balance in your artwork is shift the elements in between the top, bottom, side, center is the rule of thirds principle. So they give you a little bit of history, they give you a little bit of stuff here about the thirds. Um, they use the same thing for YouTube and advertisements and stuff, like you want to advertise down here. You want your logo somewhere in these corners and your main focal point of your video is here. It's the same thing. And just to go into the point is, it doesn't matter where you look at your art, if you look in this corner here, you want your eye to be drawn in. If you look here, you want your eye to constantly be focused. If you were just building one corner, eye's not going to go over here. It's going to stay in that area. It's out of balance. And that's what we have remaining for bag three. But that's a little bit of the art stuff that I've learned when I was a, in art appreciation. All right, now we're going to continue with bag four. a little bit different colors than what we had before here and set these over here we're not going to build it to the very end here okay because that is essentially the part of the build is that so this will be the actual tour of it here all right we got to build two of these and you're going to have to tile this in with a bunch of uh, half-cut 2x2 two two flat tiles. <laughs> but I still remember when I was taking this, when I was taking this art appreciation course, we were stuck in a dark auditorium. When I took an art course, a drawing course, and a painting course, we were stuck in windowless rooms. Go figure. Here, you got to inspire yourself to do art. Well, if I'm in a white room 
without windows and just an easel staring at me. You know, I remember when we had a sub one time in the class. Yes, they do have substitutes in, in college. He's like, what is with this class not even having any windows? This is kind of, and man, the teacher's like, this is depressing. We're going to go outside and do some drawings. We did that, and man, in fact, even the teacher was impressed as she started doing outsword, outside drawing courses. And I'm like, you just finally got that, huh? Being cooped up in a windowless room. And I'm sure that's a room that she probably was assigned to. But you got to have... When, it's like doing Lego, right? I can't work in a basement or, an, or a dark attic. I have to have natural light. It makes the colors pop out. Like right now, I, I'm in a window room. It's too hot to have the the shades open. It's like a hundred something outside, and it keeps the uh, room cooler. But it's it's the fact that I can open up the the blinds and just look at the stuff, and I can get a different perspective just because of the light. It has something to do with the temperature of the light because the sunlight's warm. This LED is a warm light. But for some reason, sunlight always does the best in terms of bringing out the natural colors of stuff. Okay, so now we're missing one of these here. So what I'm doing right now, just like what I did with bag three, is bag... Four, we're just building everything first. So right at this point here, you can have up to six people build this set. Person would have to do bags one and two, then three through, or yeah, and three through seven, it could just be a solo, or it could be individual builds after that. So I'd say. Six people at the most can build this set. It means you could probably breeze through this whole build in probably 10 minutes. And everybody can pitch into the art fun, huh? And for a fun fact, I was going to be a professional artist years ago. That never came true because college ruined it for me. So I was going to do that and computer programming. Matter of fact, taking graphics, uh, computer graphics was more entertaining than art class. But it depends on the teacher too. And then that's it for that. So we got flame yellowish orange circles and red shapes and stuff. So I'll slide those over there. Okay. And we gotta build two of these here. These have to be put together. So basically this is supposed to be you just make a bunch of random shapes. Like I said, it's abstract. And you can place the shapes anywhere you want. Now don't let the confines of the set keep you restricted here. And yes, there's a lot of black pieces. I think it's for the stand for this. Don't let the shapes, you can make, you can go in and get in your own collection and make some lime green ones. I, you know, you could do that too. And you could have a lot of fun with this. All right. I think that's what Lego is supposed, I think what Lego's intention is with this set is to introduce you to abstract art or modern art. Why they do this back in high, in college and high school, I don't know. You know, why don't they use have us do Lego stuff like this? Because then you don't have to worry about wasting canvases and paper and have the teacher tell you you drew it all wrong, which I've had. This looks good, Jay, but you did it all wrong that right there did it for me i don't mind somebody being a critic of art and stuff but when i was told that i was like oh this looks fine the tree looks good but this is just all wrong 
Oh, man, that was still nightmares. And then after that, I, I, and right before that, I would take, um, I would take uh, complex analysis and computer algorithm design, engineering and design and stuff like that. And those classes are hard. Those classes are hard. Math and computers classes are hard, but for me, those were those were fun compared to doing these. Okay, so you make two of these. We've got to make two that are mirrored. Yeah, but art in college, art appreciation, that was a different story. I think the lady in there... A lot of people say that class is boring, but I had a lot of fun. She would just sit up there and just talk about slides. We had to take notes. And it wasn't about memorizing what slides she was showing, but the essence about it. She would do a lot of history. And I still remember a lot of stuff from her class. Taking art appreciation. And there was no right or wrong way. That was an e it was a boring class for some, but you just basically sit there and like on some things, what do you feel about this piece of art? I forgot to put these on here. Like what what is your feelings on this set? You know, or not on your set. Just like what we do in here. Like what's your what do you feel when you look at this art? What what was the artist thinking? There was really no right or wrong answers. You just sit there and you did your work and you got an A in there. It was an easy A. And that's it. And that's what we just, we're just laying out the parts right now. And that's it for bag four. But that's all you did, though. We're just going to stack these up over here. I'm going to put the frame up like that. And we'll come back in and we'll get to this a little later here. So that's what we did. Now we're going to be moving on to bag five and it's pretty much the same story here if you're doing this solo it's going to get kind of dry okay we're going to talk about the rhythm and creative cohesion is the car is the art coherent this one has balance this one here i don't know what they were thinking there but that just depends and uh, shapes and sizes, and yes, it does play a role too. And you can read all, you can read this at your own leisure. You can get a, I'm sure you can download a copy of the building guide. And then now we start back on to here. Okay, and I could read all that stuff out loud, but I'm pressed for time and I don't want to drag these videos out any longer than I have to. You know, so as you can see, though, we're just putting we're just putting rectangles and circles together in, in right now. Okay, they're showing you to do it that way on that one. So, yeah, we got a lot of stuff, but. Uh, well, let's, let's abstract. Okay, we're going to do this a little fun here. What can Jay build with these parts? <laughs> well, these right here make good floor tiles for having something fun. You know, like if I'm doing an arcade, like an arcade building or something, this would be great for like a, like a design for the bottom of a floor or something like that. So I can do that too. You know, we're gonna so we're gonna abstract the essence out of the set. You know, that's what I'll be doing with it. I'll be parting it out when I'm done with it. I'll put it on exhibit for a few weeks, and then that's it. It's gone. An exhibit, Jay. You do exhibits? Yeah, in my in my uh, in my office. I'll tell you when you have clients over there, googly eyed over the Lego stuff more than anything. Even have kind of even. They even told me they had bought a few sets after they saw what I had in the in there, so it kind of works out. So Lego should give me commission for that, huh? Wish they did. But I can't show this stuff in my room until uh, after the embargo date has been lifted.
But you notice I'm just jumping around working on all the shapes. This is a set here where you can essentially just, it's, you don't have to really sit and think through it, you just build. But the reason why I'm waiting for all the, um, to get all the shapes done is that is going to be the build experience is, or the play values. How do we rearrange the shapes? Right now we're building the parts of the, of the modern art. So in order to really enjoy the build, that is the play values by taking the parts off and moving them around. So that's pretty much how we're doing it there. And you can see I'm just kind of copying the pictures. These are not hard builds. So I'd say the build experience on this is, or the build quality. I don't know what the build quality, but the build experience is just easy. The retention rate, uh, it is bright and colorful. We're doing different things, so it's not too terribly bad. And that's part of that right there. We just finished those up. And now we got to do some, some other kind of work here. We got to do um, we just build one of these. One, making sure. <laughs> I mean, okay. And we'll start this one right away here. Let me make sure here it's not a two. Okay, it's different. Okay. So we gotta build two of these and one of these. Okay. Now, like I said, you do not have to do what I'm doing here. Remember, I'm on a deadline, so I have to finish these up quickly. If you need some really exotic colors, like in these type of plates, there's a bunch of them in this set. So knock yourself out. You know what I mean? And you're just basically dropping plates down. There's nothing really hard about this set here. Just start copying the pictures and dropping stuff down. Okay. So this is a project here that you can build with a family member. Remember what I said, I'm looking for building sets that do just that. That's what I'm heavily grading on here. Can this set be built with a friend or a partner? Okay. Can this set be built with, with a partner? And yes, you can do so with this one. Lately I've been doing a lot of the I've been doing a lot of the other sets. The uh, what are those ones again? See, it tells you I don't really care about them much. The I keep thinking Monkey Kid. That's the Dream sets. Those are non-collaborative builds, all right. And half those have been boring to build so far. At least this one here you could build with a partner. And then that is we're not done yet with that. We also got to put these at the bottom here. And maybe it's uh, another piece of abstract. Maybe it's an umbrella. We don't know. Okay. So that piece there is done. So now. The thing about doing these is now I can talk about the parts. I know some of you prefer the part unboxings. And yeah, because a lot of us mock builders, we don't have instant access to a Lego store. I don't have one down the street. My nearest Lego store is a state over, and I've never been to it. But. not done with the step yet but that's what we're doing so basically what you're meant is to stick pieces on like that you know okay and 
We have one more piece to build here. And there is some bricks in this set, not a whole lot, but there is some bricks here. Very basic parts. This is like a Lego basic set, huh? Matter of fact, these are the kind of sets that I always would hoard up parts for. Now, this is a type of set here I can see being built on a cold, rainy day. Cold outside, it's either like a misty, rainy day. That's what I see building this set here. There goes the Weed Whacker. It's obviously not cold and misty if we hear that, huh? But this is a cold, misty build right here. I thought those black pieces were for a stand, but they're not. We're just about done here, folks. I mean, this is bag, what, four or five? I don't even know. It's how fast we're going through it. And that's it. So bag five, or let me see what bag we're on here. I got to look it up real quick. So that was bag five. Bag five just does this stuff here. So there you go, and this is what we have remaining. And essentially, it's just laying all the parts out for you here. So, yeah, I mean, essentially that's what it is. It's the same thing, but just one's thicker than the other. We'll throw that over there with all the other it's abstract art pieces. Here we have bag six, and it's in a larger container because I couldn't fit all these parts in a smaller one. Now we're getting into some very basic colors, huh? I'll tell you, eat your heart out, professional sorting tray guys. I love my butter containers. All right, so move, movement. Placement and contrast. Yeah, you don't want to have like, and it goes for anything. You don't want to have similar colors like this together here. Kind of looks kind of pasty where this has high contrast all right you know it's um it's like like if we have another light color in here like this and white it's very low contrast you know it just depends so that's what they mean by that what's your perspective my perspective oh you don't want me to answer that here and that's where we're going to start on with bag six. Like we're building some round thing here. So let's get started. Maybe we're done with all the abstract. Maybe this is the, this is something else. We don't know what this is yet. So we're going to start putting things together here. And honestly, this, this set reminds me of stuff that I used to build when I was like a kid. Like in the single digits. But I think... Lego's intent is to introduce educational stuff. So even though this set, to me, when I saw it, was just didn't look fun, I think the whole aspect of this set is to introduce the educational value behind modern abstract art. I know a lot of people don't want to mix education with fun. Well, when I learned how to computer program, that was it. That was fun to me. Fixing my own electronics, doing troubleshooting, that was fun. Until it became a career. <laughs> but for the most part, though, you can learn a lot of stuff here. Unless you need these right here. So I think this is probably... I don't know. This is going to give us some good building... You know, can I abstract stuff out of this? I could. At least Lego's not sticking with one solid color in here because the builds get kind of boring. So I have to tip my hat off to the designers on this because the one thing we're doing now, we're using different color parts for a base. You saw that it was blue. 
Why was it blue? So I think this right here is just to, to make the build a little bit more fun, you know. And we're supposed to put these plates on here. We'll do that right now. Oh, it's like Christmas colors, huh? Well, it's, we're in July. Christmas is a long ways away for, for us here. <laughs> and... Yeah, so you learn a little history while you're building this, which is cool. That's a fun way of getting into abstract and, and, edu and art appreciation and stuff. Gives you a little brush of it here in the book. So when I do the review, I'll mention that. I know a lot of people are going to frown upon this set, but for me, so far it is, and I hate to say it, but it's starting to keep my interest a bit more. So, you know, I know some are going to say, oh, Jay, I was waiting for you to trash this set. Well, I, I, I can if it's, if I want to build it. I mean, if honestly, I would just shy away from this. So far, they were talking about balance and contrast. Well, everything is, everything here is pretty much uh, balanced and contrast in terms of build. You got to go back over that again. So yeah, that college education is finally paying off, huh? <laughs> well, it's amazing how much stuff I remembered. I thought I always forgot about a lot of this stuff. Like, oh, I, thought, I mean, did I forget about all that? And no, there it is. It's still in my mind. I thought, oh, I thought I was wasting. I thought I was wasting brain RAM. No, a hard drive space. RAM is when you go to sleep, you wake up the next morning, you forget. But don't worry, in probably about five years from now, I'll forget the set even existed. I'm missing one more of these here. Well, what do we do? Start pull out all the parts that look similar to it. Let's pull out all the one by two bricks, or two by two bricks. And we got some slopes, start putting these over here. Until we find it. Okay, we found it. And you gotta build two of these little boogers. It looks like a face, huh? There's the eyes, nose, and mouth. It's abstract, right? I have a lot of fun with this. Alright, and this goes on here. Oh, I forgot to put a piece there. My bad. I'll we'll stick that in there real quick. <laughs> Alright, step 56. Yeah, my hands are just still achy from this cold. It felt fine yesterday. But today it's like, yeah. Oh yeah, just rev that thing up. That's why I never have the windows open in here anymore. Anyways. Okay. And... And yes, I've had that happen where they come when the clients are here too. Sometimes I'll take the client's parking spot. I'm like, why? My neighbors don't like that too much when they have clients and they park in front of the house sometimes, in front of their house. I'm sorry. I have maybe a client over here maybe two or three times a week. Or a few. Yeah, so far this is not too bad. It's a lot of useful pieces for other builds too. So if you're looking for some random, this is eight 
this is uh, 805 pieces for $50. You, you really can't go wrong with this set in terms of part-wise, you know. I always hear some people tell me, well, that's expensive for that. Well, think about it. That's less than five, that's probably about five and a half, six cents per piece. Some of these pieces are going for probably a 30, 40 cents. So yeah, this is a, this is a, this is a steal here. And these are useful pieces that I could use for building things. You know, lots of pieces to build cars and stuff. So yeah, you're not going to get horn swoggled over it. Okay. Now we got to stick these in here. There's plenty of these in blue. I was looking for these in blue a long time ago for an old project that I kind of abandoned. I need to buy about eight of these. And what does the set have? has eight of these. I only had like two in my collection at the time. So there you go. I can go back to that old building guide and revive that thing and then make a tutorial out of it. I could do that, huh? Be done with it. And there we go. Right. Ooh, I think the best thing to do, it's kind of not sturdy. I bet the best thing to do is leave it on the table and just press the parts and on the sides. Yeah, but I'm not really much into modern art, to be honest with you. It's cool to look at, but I wouldn't want it in my house. You know, I'm more into art and deco stuff, but... All right. So now we got to make four of these little things here. Ooh, well, that just came apart got to be careful with that now so now things are starting to get kind of brittle so you may want to just keep it flat on the table or a flat surface if you're tempting to pick it up just be careful I'm sure it's gonna get stronger as we're done all right at least it spins huh put that right here and that's done there. Now we gotta start putting slopes on here, just four of these. I remember these when I was a little boy. And here they are. Good snot method too. This is a nice round base. I'd like to use this for something else too. Alright. And after that, they just stick four of these on here. I think now this is going to get pretty sturdy here. Yeah, that weed leaf blower, weed whack, or whatever it is really gets on my nerves. Yeah, they were letting off fireworks late last night, too. Some people get kind of pissy about it, which I do, too. You know, I have to get up early in the morning. I don't want to hear that. You know. I understand it should stop about 12 o'clock, but not till 3 or 4 in the morning. You know. Well, of course, they're the same people that complain about gas prices, too. Like, here's a nickel, go fill your car full up with gas. Well, that only even gets me to look at the pump. Well, there you go, go out and look at the pump then. You can put the nickel in there. I'm sure back in the really old days, a nickel probably filled your whole tank up full of gas. Put a couple of bucks. Watching a movie the other day, they're saying, oh yeah, just here, here's 10 bucks, let's top off the tank. 10 bucks now just gets you fumes if you're lucky. goes right here yeah this is a nice little base here I'll take a look at this when we get it all done here real quick well that doesn't go there but that's like perfect almost perfectly round in fact that's what it is pretty much 
change the color of that. In fact, that'd make a great little thing to build a small little mock on, just change the color of that out, huh? Okay, where do these go? Oh, the tiles go in here. So what is this supposed to be? Uh, part of the abstract art? This is probably the piece that's taken the longest in building this whole thing here. And a couple of these here. And then the last parts are here. So we could just work on steps 70 and 71 simultaneously. There you go. Don't try this at home, kids, if you're not comfortable. Or folks, ladies and gents. Yeah, I mean, look at that. You could practically just build something right on top, like an island or something in here. And this is portable. This is pretty rigid, too. So just imagine, this is a... Just this part alone out of this manual here, you could use this for something else. That is usable there. And then this gets set on... We have to flip it over. And I think we have to do this. So you're going to have to mush those plates in. So this was meant to be built on a table, that's why. And they give you this one here. You got to connect all that up together there. I think this is just to fortify the bottom. Yeah, but this is a nice base. Imagine all the guys and gals who don't even want to sub to this channel. They miss out on all the stuff too. And that's what we have remaining there. So maybe it's just another abstract piece that we're putting in here. And we're going to wrap this build up here with bag seven. And yes, it's black and white, so you're always going to have one of those bags here. Okay. Essentially what we're doing is the same format we've been doing before. At least the build is broken up in such a way that we can do that. So we just got to build one of each color here and two of these half moon things in black. Matter of fact, I'm going to skip ahead. We make a full circle in white. Let's do the full circle too. And I think the next thing is probably a hanger of some sort. Okay. The reason why I'm reading ahead is, like I said, I don't want to spend all day working on this set here alone. Okay. So, these I don't... Uh, oh, yeah, these go here. So, what I'm going to do is start grabbing things and start building things up. Step 74 and 75 are the same. It's just the bases, and these are Technic pieces. They go to something else. I'm putting those up there. And so basically, you're just messing with solid shapes. It's a good little primary project here. We're using some very basic colors. This one here is not bad because I still got two medium sets that I got to build for the Lego um, Dream sets, and I'm kind of not looking forward to those. But I still got to get caught up on things. This is actually going to be Monday's build here, or maybe it's Sunday. I can't remember. I don't even know. That just tells you how many sets I have to build here.
what we're gonna try to do, we're gonna try to copy the picture on the box to make it a little bit more challenging here. So we're not quite done. The review is gonna be real quick on this one. This is gonna be a set that you just review real quick and then you're done with it and just put it on display. I got one of those done. Imagine this whole thing being black and white. Ooh, that would be so boring. It would not be fun at all. Very basic parts. Okay, these two things are done. What I've got to focus on are these two right here. This bullseye thing and all that other stuff. Yeah, everybody's coming back from vacations now, from their vacation destinations. Matter of fact, work's even been so dead. <laughs> it's nice when nobody's bothering you. You can get your work done in half the time. Like, oh, this is what it's like to get done with work early. And I have to be bothered. Just get it done, move on to the next thing, right? And that's it. And then the next step here is we gotta make two of these, but I don't see where these would fit at in here. We'll find out eventually what these go to. Maybe they're the stand or something, but they are not the stand. Unless this is some kind of a hanger or something, maybe a stand to hold up the painting, but it showed it on a wall in the box. Alrighty, and that's it with a few pieces remaining here so we have two square tiles and maybe they're just meant to for extra pieces so that's all it is what did these go to here? It was within this bag here. Okay, so let's, let me pause this and we'll go from there. Now, you can select which pieces to do. So you got A, B, C, D. And that's just it. So you got four options to pick from. I can't remember which one we're doing here. I'm going to copy the back of the, or the box just to show you know, for compare and contrast. So A does the box art here. And then we are going to, looks like it does the box. Yeah, just the way it looks. Okay, so you could do any one of these you want. You could do it any way you want, but we're gonna for sake of discussion, we're gonna stick with the box. And we're gonna take our frame here and these go inside right here. So what this is intended for is, if you can get the damn thing in there, you stick a nail and your nail slides into that. So these are meant to be as hangers. Or you can put the hangers here too, if you want to hang it sideways. Well first you got to get them in first before you can do that. It doesn't matter which way these things face, but there you go meant to hang on a wall there and I don't know what we're doing with these we're gonna hang on to them right now and now you basically just take your big giant building blocks and then you just start placing things on it I don't know if they're all gonna be used or not and I kid you not you just start slapping things on <laughs> that's uh, that's the whole essence of that huh it's got a nice framework everything's easy to place on you start grabbing your big shapes and start placing the parts on there so this right here is actually the play experience here so this right here is going to be the tour 
and stuff like that. So, well, the t building tour here. You can see I'm just placing shapes. Just grab your pieces and drop them in. Oh, not too bad, but I'm going to copy the picture. Of course, in art, you don't copy pictures. You use your imagination, but... Um, here, just for sake of discussion. And I want to show you something, too. See how they have the pre-built stuff? And my building guides have always done that. It just makes it easier. So we build a bunch of stuff and we place them in there. My building guides are really good quality. They're just like Lego building guides. And that goes right there. There we go. Well, Jay, are you enjoying this set? Yeah, it's actually enjoyable. I mean, it's not something I would buy. What? Okay, now we need one of these here. So I'm taking, this is probably a sun. And then we have an umbrella here. With a little rain on the side. And this goes right, well, that's the only place it'll fit there, huh? So far I'm not having any pieces break apart, which is good. Okay, we want it to be balanced there. I want to get it exactly like the picture. So we do the review. It just makes it easier. Now, I'm not going to tap a nail in my wall to hang this up. So I'll probably just use a stand for this. For what I'm using to record the phone off of. So I'll just have to find another way to prop the phone up here. Okay, this goes right there. It'd be better to put this in some sort of stand. That's what these are for. I thought these were part of the stand. Oh, you just shove those in there. Except mine's is in backwards. Studs are supposed to be on that side. Let's pop that out. We'll push it like that's where it shows it at. And okay. Well, these are just barely hanging on there. Just two, two or three studs hanging those on. I showed a one like this. There we go. Jay, you're actually going to review that? Yep, you betcha I am. And that's just it for this. And this just goes right here, even with this corner here. Like I said, you have to be a fan of this stuff. I'm not a fan of modern art. Am I still recording? Okay, good. I gotta have the notes for recording things. And then this one goes here. Actually covering that whole thing up. Wow. And yeah, this is meant to be hung on a wall, so. Two of those little boogers. And this one goes here. Alrighty. You can see now it's kind of a kind of a quiet thing now. <laughs> yeah, but that art class, we weren't allowed to talk or nothing in there. It was very quiet. 
You are supposed to focus on your art. And that's it with a few pieces remaining. It says, now you can take it apart. Build something completely different. And for the most part, it does look almost like, actually it does look like this right here. Except that is off by a step. There you go. And that's it. That's essentially the build part. And we have extra pieces. So I'm not sure what these went to. Maybe I forgot something here. Let me take a look. Because that just doesn't make any sense. Why would they just give you extra parts? Lego's not that nice. Unless I forgot something in here. But, but those were in that bag. Maybe it's just meant for you to, to do something else with it. But I don't see them in here. Yeah. So, I'm not sure what these went to. They're just extras, I guess. And that's what we have remaining for bag seven, so I don't know. Uh, it looks just like the picture. That's all that matters, and it's strong. And we're going to show it off real quick. Now, the frame of this is pretty strong, but this stuff here can easily fall off. So for me personally, when you put it together and display it, display it somewhere. Now I'm going to need to borrow the phone recorder stand. And I think you'll have to hear the muffleness for a bit. Will this fit on here? Well, that fits perfect on there. Let me get the camera backed up here and uh, we'll take a better look at this abstractness here. We're going to we're going to take a look at its essence and enjoy the art, if you want to call it that. This is one of those vertical builds that LEGO uh, likes making a lot of here. And I'm also getting ready for doing the final uh, build tour, too. Remember, i got to do a review on this, so I have to do that. Except for the glare on the lamp, I think the best thing to do is to rotate it like that when I do the... Well, let's see here. Well, the problem with that is, is that I'll probably whack my head on that. You rarely ever see the lamp over there. I'm trying not to wash it out so much. So, essentially, this is what you have here. You know, let me pull a little bit of natural light in here on this then. And then, that'll help a little. And that's essentially what it is. Let me focus in on this here. Make sure we got a sharp picture. Because I'm going to do the review right after I get done with this. So for rough notes here, this is just a rough review for you guys who are watching on this channel here. All right. I think that's fine. Just trying to get it to where it's not so washed out. This is essentially what it is. Now, I don't need a turntable for this now. We got extra pieces here to, to add on to this and do other layouts. There's four layouts in total. And, yeah, that's pretty much what it is. So we're going to start with build quality. And the frame and the pieces, for the most part, are pretty good. But this other stuff is just tacked on here. And these could just come off very easily. I think the reason being is so you could rearrange things pretty quickly. You don't have to fight to rip things off. And we didn't even use that brick separate. We didn't even use this thing. So there's a lot of extra stuff that you can do here. Kind of wish we could set this up freehand so I have to use a, a stand for it. But that's essentially what it is right there. It's a, just a little wooden stand that I use for the phone or the iPad. For the most part, though, build quality is pretty good, you know, for what it is. This is strong. All the pieces are strong. 
So the end result is this. Let's talk about build, ex build experience. And it was an interesting build, something different than I normally would do. But, you know, well, we'll save my final thoughts there on that to the end of the video. But the build experience, though, it did keep my interest. I'm not going to lie to you there. The beginning, it started off kind of bland, but then you got to all the fun, colorful shapes. But you are building multiples of stuff. So it can get a little tedious after a while. But for the most part, not too bad. Can't drop it in a city, obviously. You can't, you could make a mock out of it. Matter of fact, that's basically what this is. You could rearrange all this stuff. Now, there's one thing I'm going to note, though, you can see all this frame back here. I should have thought of a better way to hide these open spots, unless that's what they're meant to be done. So it depends on the color of your wall. Like mine are white and scuffed up. But if you have like a nice green or even a pink or blue wall, this will pierce right through it. Okay. So that's pretty much what it is. When I do the thumbnail, I'm just going to cut around all this so it looks like it's floating. I'm not going to put an nail hang this on my wall by any means. I may just leave it on the stand here. I got another one of these in, another, in, in, in the other room. Um... We talked about build experience, build quality, mock. There is mock potential. It is somewhat of a collaborative build, but when you're putting it all together, it just depends. Or you can have everybody just place pieces on here and then it'd be just cool abstract art. So yes, there is collaborative build with this set. So I'd like to see that more. And there's plenty of extra pieces for build. So for play value, um, this is just a piece of art, but you can play with it because you can rearrange things on here. This is not like you build it once like a Britannical set and you just display it. This one you can take shapes off. Like I could take this off here and put this up here like this. I could rearrange things and make different pictures out of this. So there is some play value with this set. So play value does exist with it. But for the most part, though, it's not a bad build. Now, my opinion on this right now, the way it looks, it's ugly. This looks like something that somebody just threw together. But I'm not into abstract art. I'm not into modern art. But to me, it just looks kind of, kind of random. But I know what Lego was going for with this. It was basically to introduce a builder into modern abstract art that's what this is like you can just imagine some stuff like this is a sun here with an umbrella with some raindrops maybe these could be buildings we got a little bit of an ocean here and a beach you, you could just imagine a lot of stuff basically it's, what was the artist thinking on this stuff it's very bright and colorful though too but that's basically what their thing is so for me on this set I know some of you were hoping I was going to trash this one out, but honestly, I'd say it was probably a 9. Uh, 9 being the... It just... Everything's here, and I think the, re, the, the collaborative build is what brings a score up on it. And it is playable up to a point. The reason for the 9 is... But I was first starting off with this, I was losing interest. Okay. Because it was just white pieces right off the bat. Okay, so it was just kind of, here's the boring stuff, get it out of the way. And then now we can do the fun stuff. But I'm going to say nine out of this. I'm, I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to just trash this set for no reason. So this is just a nine. But as far as myself, this is not something I would buy. But for $49.99, this is what you're getting. You're getting a bunch of basic parts. But that's a good deal. So for me, for part value, it's got a lot of potential for pieces. Lots of plates, lots of weird colors, like the bluish green and the flame yellowish orange and pink. Probably the only colors I can see that are pretty good. But you get a lot of these flat tile with bowels, 2 by 2 flat tiles, some of these black... Uh, one by four by four arches lots of good prime parts in here so for any builder who's into basic stuff there you go and in addition with that this book has some of the you know some of the theories and history 
for modern art. So you're also getting a little educational value with it too. So like I said, it's, it's a nine out of 10. I know some of you were expecting me to give it a five or a, or a zero, but no, that's what it is. That's what I feel. This was, this was an interesting build. Not something I would hang in my house. So that's it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do the final review with these same notes, just more condensed. <laughs> so tell me what you think of this set. I mean, it was fun to put together, but it was different. It's different than the usual uh, Lego Dreams dark and gloomy sets, but this, was, this, this one had a lot of color to it for what it is.